Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Google Chrome version 139 that has now become available and is now the latest release. And to double check we have this latest version, we head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome. Latest version in build after the update has been applied is 139.0.7258.66 or 67. Either or on version 139. Running Windows, Mac and Linux now means you are fully patched and up to date. Now first of all, the update includes 12 security fixes. And thankfully there are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild. There are no critical vulnerabilities. We also don't get any high severity vulnerabilities, which is good news. And we only just get a couple of mediums and lows. So not major threats this week when it comes to patching security holes. So 12 security fixes in total. And this also means that these same security fixes more or less will roll out to the other Chromium based web browsers throughout the course and the rest of this week. So 12 security fixes in total with version 139. Now, first of all, just to let you know that if you are running Chrome on Android, that the previous version, Chrome 138, was the last version of Chrome that supported Android 8 Oreo and Android 9 Pi. And this latest version now, Chrome 139, is the first version of Chrome that requires Android 10 or later. So you'll need to ensure your device is running Android 10 or later to continue receiving future Chrome releases. So just giving you guys a heads up if you are running those older versions of Android. Now when it comes to new features and front-facing tweaks and adjustments, there's not really too much going on with Chrome version 139. But if you are a web developer, just to let you know that there are a good couple of bug fixes and performance improvements for developers, which is good news for your average user because if the web developers are getting performance fixes and updates, at the end of the day, it will benefit the end user, so to speak. So web developers get a couple of bug fixes and performance improvements taking place under the hood. And another change basically taking place under the hood is there will be some new ways for websites to look and behave with updates to CSS, like more advanced corner shapes and animations. So I think that will be site specific. And unfortunately, we still don't get the new split view, which is a feature if we head over to Chrome Canary that's been in preview now for quite some time. And Google has been giving the new split screen quite a lot of attention in preview and I thought by now it would have rolled out to the stable version and the stable channel but not to be and the good news is though although we haven't received the new split screen as a feature yet in the stable which I'm sure over the next release or two we should get it I was actually expecting it to start rolling out with this latest 139 release but not to be if you want to know how to enable split view in the stable version I'll leave a video link down below and in the end screen if you'd like to try that out before it rolls out in an up-and-coming stable release. And then I think a big one with version 139 is 139 now fully deprecates manifest v2 extensions, including uBlock Origin, which obviously is a popular ad blocker and content blocker. And Chrome extensions now are required to use this new manifest version v3 instead of v2. Unfortunately now the workarounds that are showed in a video with 138 will not work because a whole lot of flags have been removed. As I've always said flags are not options, they're experiments and Google has removed a couple of flags. But I have posted a video and as you can see how you can still get uBlock Origin working in this latest release. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen because it's very similar to how we got it working in 138, just minus the three flags. So check the video out for more info. You can see I've got uBlock Origin working using a couple of experimental flags and tweaks and adjustments. There we go. So unfortunately, it seems now that with the next release, which will be version 140, these workarounds could be totally removed because in preview with version 140, 
the workarounds are not working. So there's a very good chance this may be the last stable release of Google Chrome that will actually that will actually have the workaround still available that you can use to get v2 extensions back like uBlock origin but check the video out because it is starting to help a lot of folks out already video will be linked so guys that's more or less what's new with version 139 quite a light release when it comes to new features so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one